Welcome to episode 198 of Clarity Compressed. I'm Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today, I'm going bananas. We're making our way through the fog of life, and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Do you know what's in here? You don't know what's in here. I know what's in here. This is a box from my favorite minor league baseball team, the Savannah Bananas. I don't know if you remember, but I had this man. I'll give you Jesse Cole. He is the CEO of the Savannah Bananas on this podcast. Oh, I don't know. It was over a year ago, maybe two years ago. So I'll consider myself an early adopter there. Had him on the podcast. He bought a major minor league baseball team, put it in Savannah, named the team the Savannah Bananas because of this whole thing. He wears a yellow tuxedo, and he operates under the premise of customer experience always wins, which is why he says people want to be entertained. Which is why he does things like hire a break dancer for a first base coach and say, you know what, we can teach him to coach first base. We need someone who can make people engaged and energetic. This minor league baseball team is like sold out for the next couple of years. And so I, as being a student of brand and customer experience, I attach to Jesse right away. Magnetic personality, willing to take risks, willing to be different in order to give people a feeling, right? The good feeling. Now he's been picked up by like ESPN and all these major networks that are focusing on him. He's exploding. The team's exploding. They're on a tour. And I was like, you know what? It's all because he was on this pot. I'm just kidding. That is not why. But I was like, I need a little piece of Savannah Bananas history. I need to get some swag. So this box just came in this week. And I have a little story about customer experience that I thought was super important to share here. But first, we'll, we'll wait and we'll open. We'll see what is in the box in just a moment. Here's basically how this goes down. I want to buy this item and I go to the website. All right, I'm going to get a little piece of item. You know, they ship swag all over the world, right? And Jesse actually just on LinkedIn had a video showing hundreds of boxes like this ready to be shipped out. So I went in, the item that I wanted to buy wasn't in stock. This was a couple months ago. It said, so enter your email. We'll let you know when it's back in stock. I entered my email Forgot about it, of course. And then a couple of months later, which would be just like a week or two ago, I got an email saying, hey, awesome, your swag is back in stock. If you want to order it, pick it up here. So clicked on the link, went through to the cart and, you know, ordered the item, go to cart, and it said something really interesting. It said, pay with Coinbase. I was like, I could pay with cryptocurrency? I've never bought anything with cryptocurrency before. And I thought it was really appropriate. I'm going to try to make this my first retail purchase with cryptocurrency and how appropriate that it would be the Savannah Bananas swag um, and my man Jesse Cole pushing the boundary. So I clicked on a little button that says pay with Coinbase. And I was like, how are they going to pull this off? And then you know what? A little, a little QR code pops up. Oh, that's how. Select Bitcoin, scan the QR code with my Coinbase app. Great. And then it says payment sent, right? Well, I had to put in the amount that I wanted to pay. The item was $30. So I paid him $30 and then a little timer started to tick because if you know anything about cryptocurrency, it doesn't process immediately. It needs to be processed on the blockchain and mined by a cryptocurrency miner, a Bitcoin miner. I know it's complex. I'll get into it some other time. But then a timer started ticking down, waiting for that transaction to be processed. I started waiting for that and I started to do other things while that was happening. Then I got a notification that said underpayment. And it said, you know, you can email here. I was like, oh, well, you know, I didn't have super high hopes. It was a cryptocurrency payment. Really, we're talking about groundbreaking stuff. And, you know, but they're trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. So, you know what? I clicked on the email link and I sent a message uh, to Matt Powell, who is their finance director. And I said, hey, I wanted to be this to be my first Bitcoin transaction, but something must have slipped up. And the payment was eight cents short. Well, guess what? As expected, I got a great response from Matt who emailed me right back and he says, hey, like, let's not sweat the eight cents. Let's dance a jig because we just transacted with cryptocurrency and I'll let the shipping department know to push your order through. That's how that went down. And then this box shows up. I have several knives up there. Clarity flag on one side and it says clarity on the other. So let's see what we got. 
Oh, and by the way, before I open this box, when we're talking about customer experience and we're talking about a feeling that you can give to people, so many times the little feelings that you give to people doesn't have, they don't have to cost you money. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to do this. You just need some attentionality. So let me just point out this one little detail that made me feel awesome. On the address, it has my name, Paul Daly, and then it says Paul Daly, dot, 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 goes bananas. And tell me that's just not cool, right? They're just trying to build the brand and they just typed in a few extra lines. They probably built it into their labeling system to just add that on there. And that didn't cost them anything, made me feel special. And it pushed down the fact that I love the Savannah bananas, even though I've never been to a game. We're opening the box. All right, big surprise moment. Are you surprised I bought a Savannah Bananas flat brim hat? There we go. Much better. Well, not much better, but let's be honest. So I'm wearing my Savannah Bananas hat now. And let's see what else we have in here. We have um, we have a letter from the shipping department. Two young ladies who shipped the item, right? It says, your order made our day. We hope it makes yours. Your support means the world to us. A little surprise and delight. A Savannah Bananas sticker. You know this is going on the shelf on the cart. Oh, I also got a Savannah Bananas cozy. Let's put the water bottle in there. We're going, we're, we're swagging out. Let's review. There is a team, a minor league baseball team in Savannah named the Savannah Bananas. They operate on the premise that customer experience is everything. And people go to baseball games to have fun and make memories, not necessarily to see baseball. So they have dancing baseball players. They have all kinds of antics. The owner wears a yellow tuxedo. They ship swag all over the world, not because people will ever see a game, be able to watch a game on TV, but because people connected and entered into the story. It gave them a feeling. And that is why I bought this hat. That is how I initially found Jesse Cole, had him on the podcast. And I bought this hat with cryptocurrency and forever it will be my first retail purchase. The moral of the story is this. You can always push the limits, even when you're a minor league baseball team named the Savannah Bananas. You can connect with some Yahoo in Syracuse who is a huge fan. And now Paul Daly goes bananas. I hope you will keep pushing the boundaries, knowing that anything that you're doing could always be improved upon and you can always 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 make someone feel special i hope you have an amazing week i'll see you here next time